transforming the economy by generating 415 billion euros and creating thousands of jobs. And that's what a fully functioning digital single market could do for Europe. MEPs gave it their support at a vote in Strasbourg on Tuesday. The economy is becoming more and more digital. We can see how those uh, uh, digital barriers dividing uh, our member states are coming back. We have to create digital single market in the European Union. First things first, getting rid of barriers across the 28 member states to make sure that consumers have greater access to goods and services online. If there are 28 sets of, for example, consumer protection rules, then uh, then companies just don't sell cross borders but there's a big difference when you sell to a market of 1 million or 5 million or to a market of 500 million. Another focal point of the discussion in the chamber was geo-blocking, the practice that prevents the user accessing information based on their country-wide location. The parliament calls for an end to unjustified geo-blocking. This goes against the very foundation of a single market so I don't think there can be justified geo-blocking inside the digital single market. But what MEPs say is required is to put the consumer first and for innovation to be allowed to flourish. So far the digital single market is merely a concept but expect the Commission to put flesh on the bones of their proposal later on in the year.